Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be doing a very, very highly requested video. People have been asking me to do this video for years and years. That is, how do I write essays? Today I'm going to be walking you through an essay that I'm writing and showing you how step by step I actually plan and write an essay. This video is also very kindly sponsored by Studiosity. So Studiosity is a 24-7 on-demand platform for students where you can get help from subject specialists and people who are very familiar with academic writing. There is a Connect Live service but the really cool thing is that essay feedback service so you can submit an essay and then get feedback on your essay. So the essay that I write today I will be submitting to Studiosity. Okay, I've got my mug of tea, very important. I'm also going to light this new candle, pumpkin scented, which is wonderful. Okay, so the first step is to actually decide the essay I'm going to write. The essay that I'm going to be writing today is not one that I've been set as like a formative or um, for an exam or anything. It's just an essay I'm writing for practice and so I'm not actually sure what I want to write this essay on. Okay, so we are heading over to Notion. Okay, so I just went through all of my class notes and weekly notes on Notion and wrote a list of just two or three things that I found really interesting when we were learning about that book. This is something I mean to do during the year. I think it's a good thing to do as you go along. So here we go. Here are all of the things I found interesting per week. Just a few quick notations. As I said, this essay isn't a, an actual assessment, but I'm going to show you what I'd do if it were an assessment. So this is an example of what one of the pages will look like. I have a place where I will put my PDF submission when I actually submit it. Then there's space for the questions, the question I'm going to do, the assessment criteria, and also just the key information like word count, etc. I've now narrowed it down to two choices, and so I'm going to make a mind map of both of these essay topics and see what I have most to say about. I will just take out my white lines notepaper. Uh, so I separate the page into two sections, as you can see, and then I basically just brainstorm the kind of thing that I would want to write about if I did do this essay. This is not a space for polished ideas, it's just getting me to think and see which one I'm actually most interested in. And so I'll write my main point in one colour and then in another colour I will make more thoughts on that main point. And usually through doing this I will decide which essay I want to write because one of them will always be more exciting to me. I've decided to focus on Huckleberry Finn and particularly the visuality of the performances that the King and the Duke put on, like how does it actually look to people going to see it. I focusing on something a bit smaller when I'm writing an essay because otherwise you can't go into the same amount of depth. Now that I've got this very, very messy plan, like this is really, really bad, it's very messy, it's very ill-formed, I'm now going to take my academic planner and I will use one day in the academic planner to write down all of the things I need to do for this essay. I always do this for my big project. It keeps everything in one place because then I can find this to-do list really really easily when I need it. Okay so if you're wondering what is on this to-do list, the first thing is to write a brief essay plan on Notion, then I will find critical essays which I want to read, I will read those essays, then I will pad out my paragraphs using this additional information and make them into full paragraphs, I will write my introduction and conclusion next, then I will just do some research, then I will just do some extra research in case there's anything which I think needs a little bit more information. Okay so now we're going to transfer this onto a Notion page. Okay, so now getting started on writing that initial essay plan. The first thing I will do is write my thesis statement and my introduction. This is not what it's going to look like the whole time. Like, I will go back and write this introduction again, but I just like to have something to start with. Okay, so the first thing I do is write my thesis. This is what I'm planning on arguing in the essay, and I know that this might change over the course of the essay, but it's just good to kind of have an idea of where I'm going. In particular, this section is important. When you go into writing an essay, I think it's really key to have an idea of what you're arguing because otherwise you could write a paragraph and it could just not link to anything and then you might have to cut it later. So um, 
this sentence is really important because this is what my argument is. Okay, so as you can see here, I've just gone one, two, three for my paragraphs. So I'm going to write that up here. Okay, so here I'm just writing each of those main points into a separate toggle so that I can separate the essay and make it look more manageable. So I went through each of my paragraphs and just noted down my point and also how it linked to my argument. One thing which is so easy to do is go off on a tangent and end up not actually answering the question that you set for yourself. And then I just bullet pointed the key things that I wanted to, to discuss in each of those paragraphs. Once I'd made those bullet points, I like to just go through and formulate it into a coherent argument essay paragraph structure. So I will just move around those bullet points. This is literally just a list of ideas which have been coherently strung together into the bare frames of an argument. Okay, I've now come up with all of my ideas for each paragraph and it changed a lot from my thesis in the 20 minutes I was working on that. So now, now I'm going to take these smaller points, so Jim's blue face paint, um, the fact that he, Twain portrays him as silly and that Huck doesn't think it's amusing. These are going to be three separate points which I will do by toggles. I do love a good toggle, so I'm going to do toggle. I'm just going to copy these in. And then I will just write each of these as a mini paragraph. So at this point I will go through my essay and I will just make a little comment next to anything which I think needs a critic or I need to you know, look into this a little bit more and look at what scholars are saying about it already. One thing to bear in mind as well is that whenever I approach an essay, I do have some critical knowledge of the text already. I've usually read at least like five or six critical essays just to kind of get an idea of the text. I don't like to go into it completely blind. Uh, I want to have some kind of an idea of what the scholarship is saying. Okay, I've just gone through and found critics. For this particular essay, I'm not doing loads of research because it's just a practice essay, but these are the three essays I've referenced, and so I've just put a link so I can easily get to the source quickly. And yeah, that means that my plan is done, which is very cool, and I'm not going to write it right now. I think I'm going to write it tomorrow. I usually like to give myself a little bit of time between doing the plan and actual, actually writing the essay so that I can come to it with a fresh perspective. So I'm going to leave this for now and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so now it is the next day and I'm actually getting started on writing the essay. So I will write my essay in bullet points. Again, this just makes it manageable. I think one of the really important things about essay writing is making it as manageable as you can because essays are daunting they are like really really daunting to approach but if you break it down then you make it much easier and so you can get it done more quickly i like to write my essay in bullet points and then string those bullet points together because for me writing bullet points is a lot less formal and so i don't think so much about what i'm writing i don't worry so much about it and i can always go back and change it if there is something which is a bit too informal so um yeah that's something i really recommend doing I often find that when you write your essay plan, you feel like you've covered all bases and you don't need to do any more research. And then when you come to writing it, you start coming up with this point and you realize, oh gosh, I really wish I knew a little bit more about this. I think I need to research this. I think I need to read a bit about this. And so I usually find that when I'm writing the essay, it's very much broken up by more research and reading as things come up as and when I need them. Okay, here I am. I've written my first paragraph and I'm just going to close that now because I don't want to get distracted by this last paragraph. I want to move on to doing the second one. So when Jim dresses up as King Lear, um, I've got my ideas all ready to go and I'm just going to write this up. If I have anything that I want to use as a footnote, I will just put it in square brackets as you can see. Um, and then I can add those in later. Because I'm doing this on Notion, I can't put footnotes in at this point, so I just do them in square brackets so I can come back to them and put them in later. I do like to use footnotes in my essay, an additional snippet to make your point, even if it's not directly relevant. For me, getting in the mode of the essay is really important too. Um, if that sounds silly, like, 
uh, just kind of letting yourself flow with it a bit. I really think it's a great idea to aim to write quote unquote a bad first draft because it will always be better than you think it will be and it gets that first really high resistance step out of the way. And if that's a way to help you get over that activation energy of resistance, then definitely, definitely let yourself write something bad. Yeah, here is my essay. It's all just broken up into these. And I'm gonna leave it here for now. I've got a few last minute things I need to just brush up on. I leave X's in my essays, which is basically where I know I want to come back and add something in. So I will go have lunch and then come back and add in those X's and then I will submit it to Studiosity. So now I'm just transferring my essay from Notion onto Google Drive. I like Google Drive for formatting, I also don't have Word. I'm just putting my footnotes in as you can see, I had them all characterised already. And I always, always use that align function thing when I format my essay because I hate documents which are not aligned. It really, really bugs me, that's one of my pet peeves. Now I'm just going through formatting it, making sure it's all okay. I would go through and cut out paragraphs and cut out sections if this were an actual essay and I had a word count because I always go over the word count but since this one is just one for this video I don't have to do that. The final step is actually reading my essay aloud and proofreading it. I always read it aloud just to see that it reads okay and that it's engaging and that the words I've used fit. I've only done one round of proofreading for this essay because I've literally just written this essay for this video but if this were an actual essay, I would be proofreading it for days and days and days, many, many times. Proofreading is so important. Okay, there we go. I have just gone through, read a little loud to make sure that I like how it sounds, that it all flows okay. And usually if this were a submitted essay, I would be going over it a lot, a lot more. I'd go through it, through it maybe like five or six times, but I'm not gonna do that for this one because it is a practice essay and I just wanted to show you how I write one. I'm going to submit this to Studiosity now to get some feedback on this essay because the number one thing which is important when it comes to essays is getting feedback and seeing how you can improve next time and Studiosity is a great way to do this because you can submit your essays and then you can get feedback on them. So loads of university students have access to Studiosity without realising it and one of the best bits is that you can actually submit a summative assignment for feedback from Studiosity before you submit it properly. Okay, so I'm submitting my essay to Studiosity, just giving a little bit of an overview of the task that I've been set. And then you can see that you've got an option to select the things that you want to be graded on. So I've selected structure, choice of language and spelling and grammar. Okay, it's now 4.30 and I received an email back from Studiosity at 4. It's, you're supposed to get your feedback within 24 hours, but I literally got my feedback in two hours, which is so much quicker than I was expecting. Uh, this is the feedback I got. Basically, Studio RC provides feedback on your academic writing more than the content of your piece, which means that you can use this when you're submitting summative assignments. Whenever I get feedback on an assignment, I always write up my feedback because I want to make sure that I make this feedback actionable. I make goals for my feedback so that I will not make that same mistake again. And I would really recommend this. Uh, it means that you can improve your academic writing going forwards. So thank you so much to Studio Steve for sponsoring today's video and thank you so much for watching it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful. People have been asking me to share how I write essays for years and years and years. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a productive week. Bye.